Hello preschool friends, it's Miss Melissa here and tonight I'm going to be reading you the story Wings on Things by Mark Brown. Friends, when you look at the cover of this book, do you see some wings? <gasps> I see wings on a butterfly, a dragon, a bumblebee. What else do you see wings on? Wings on Things by Mark Brown. Wings, wings, wings. They are wonderful flying things. Wings flutter and flap and they make things go. Some go high and some go low. Some fly fast and some fly slow. Some wings are red some wings are blue. Wings help you fly. That's what they do. Wings help you to fly. Wings come in twos. One, two. Like twins and shoes. Wings of many sizes, big and small, and short and tall short, tall, but they both have wings. Big, small, and they both have wings. Wings on pets. Wings in nets. They're chasing and catching butterflies. Wings on eagles. Never on beagles. Always on ducks. Never on trucks. Wings on hats, never on cats. Wings on chairs, never on bears. Wings on dragons, never on wagons. It looks like that child is working very hard to pull the wagon up the hill. There are wings that drum. There are wings that hum. That's a hummingbird. A hummingbird must move their wings very fast to fly. Buzzing wings that buzz are dangerous to touch. Those wingers with stingers, we don't like them very much. Look at all of the bees. We don't want to touch a bee because a bee might sting us. We just leave a bee alone. Wings flying high, writing words in the sky. Oh, spooky wings in the park, making sounds in the dark. Do you know what animal that is in the dark with the wings? It's not a mouse, it's a bat. And what else is hiding in the tree that has wings? If you said owl, you're absolutely right. Wings in a row on a tree long ago. That's called a pterodactyl. A pterodactyl is a dinosaur that had wings. Wings can take you most any place. There are wings everywhere, even in space. Thank you for listening to my story, friends. I want you to think about all the different things that have wings. Maybe you could take out your crayons and you could draw a picture of something that has wings. Are there any things that have wings that weren't in the story? Hmm, maybe a fairy. A fairy has wings. Was there a fairy in our story? I bet you can think of other ideas too. Have fun thinking about wings on things.